Welcome to Nerd Alert, everyone. We have a fantastic guest this week, a return guest and a favorite of mine and yours, I think, audience. Uh, this is Christina Ochoa. Christina is a science educator and an actress. Uh, you are, of course, from Sirens, where you are spreading science awareness. Um, you've co-hosted the Intel Science Fair and you've acted in several things. You can look at her filmography online. And right now, she also has her own podcast, No Brainer. Which K you were a part of. K-N-O-W, and yes, I was. Um, and I had a lot of fun talking about, you were surprised by the topics I chose? Yeah, you brought, um, you know, the, the dogma of should, which was really interesting. Uh, it was something that I, I think elicited a lot of responses and comments from listeners. And then you surprised me at the end with Disney princesses and our obsession with Disney. Because, okay, you go to these websites and it's like, these are the Disney princesses if they were superheroes or different kinds of rocks, you know? And it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's very cute. It's, it's, a, it's something that has pervaded our culture. So I talked only about social issues, which mm -hmm. was surprising to you. Uh, so that, that was a lot of fun. Check that out. You can go to iTunes or Christina's website for No Brainer, br no brainer that's K-N-O-W, Brainer. Check that out. Uh, we're going to move to our first story right now in our non-long format show, uh, which is that there was a complete tiny dinosaur bone set found in South Korea, which is pretty rare. It's, it's not likely to find a small fossilized creature. Exactly. Uh, just this due was to the just under uh, 28 centimeters, which is like 11 inches. Mm -hmm. And it's so rare because only under 1% of fossilized small dinosaurs are found with a skull and with their vertebrae attached to their rib cage. I'm assuming this is because they would have gotten eaten. Well, because their their body structure, so their bones oh, and stuff, they're so right. small that they, they we just don't oh. fossilize the whole. Oh, we have a picture this there. This is a bit. picture. This is not the dinosaur uh, skeleton that was well, fossil that was found, uh, but this is a similar one. This is a tiny theropod, uh, and the carnivorous family of dinosaurs that include Tyrannosaurus rexes, um, and has sharp teeth and claws, but just tiny. It's a microraptor, <laughs> and what's funny, well, not funny. What's notable about this is it has four wings. So this dinosaur is, uh, of course, a feathered dinosaur. Mm -hmm. And I, I have not heard of anything, well, besides insects, having four wings. We also do not know at what stage of its life it was fossilized. So we're trying to figure out if this was an adult, if that's the full size, or if it was just um, a younger mm -hmm. specimen. Uh, academia does not know if this is a species that has been recorded before. Mm -hmm. So it's something that could potentially be something other than this microraptor. Uh, and we are considering part of a theropod, which is beast foot, and so what it stands for. Beast and foot. yeah, and it does include um, the famous T. Rex. It's mm -hmm. just this, you know, he's carnivorous. He's aggressive, just much, just much smaller. Just tiny and aggressive. Yeah, like you know, <laughs> many dogs. Yeah. Uh, but this was believed to come from the Cretaceous period, 66 million years ago. Just uh, that's that's most of what we know right now. Like you said, we don't know yeah. what stage of its life it was in. Uh, much else at all. <laughs> we, I mean, we do know that, of course, with the Cretaceous Tertiary extinction, the KT mm -hmm. extinction, um, that was 66 million years ago. The Cretaceous went from 145 to 66 million, mm -hmm. um, and uh, we think that obviously that's where you know it went extinct. Just like ammonites, a lot of flowered plants and a lot of other the main, the dinosaurs, and then gave uh, way to the Paleocene. Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Um, what can we learn from this? I mean, we it, this is such a, a new or revolutionary finding to have like such this small animal, former animal found. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that it's interesting not just because of its not origin story, but kind of like the discovery. It was a, a fisherman that accidentally came upon it uh, 500 kilometers out, outside of Seoul, uh, in the huh, guys, Haidong County. I hope. I'm sorry if that's not how you pronounce it. We make up a lot of pronunciation here. Uh, but um, yeah, in South Korea, and it's, again, it's something that is so rare, less than 1%, mm -hmm. you know, and the fact that it has its skull intact will give us insight into so much more information about what this creature was like. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see how this uh, tiny theropod fit into the, the biostructure of that time. And this is a very interesting find, again, four wings. What do you think, audience? Let us know below in the comments, and please be sure to subscribe.